Hi, I'm Kirsten Holmes, and here's what's happening. The Davids Police Department is releasing a new video from a deadly officer-involved shooting last month. Now, police responded to a call at a home where a woman said her 29-year-old son was threatening her. Police shot and killed that man after an altercation, and they say that his mom was already dead at the home. And we have new information on an officer-involved shooting that left one man dead in Nevada County earlier this week. That man has been identified as 25-year-old Gabriel Strickland. He was seen carrying a shotgun over his shoulder and then refused to drop it when he was ordered to do so. Police say he had a history of making suicide by cop statements. That shooting is still under investigation. And a police chase ended yesterday in Citrus Heights with a driver slamming into a tree. Detectives say they approached the man in a car because they say he was on parole. They said he sped off, nearly running into an officer. Police chased after him until they reached Gold River. He's now looking at a long list of charges, including resisting arrest. All right, so it's Friday. What's in store for your weather? Let's check in with Rob Carlmar. You know, the Friday forecast going into a weekend is always really important. And uh, in the morning, we had the fog burned off. Highs close to 60. Just so you know, and I think this surprises everybody, record highs are in the mid-60s. So this is actually kind of warm for this time of year. Uh, not warm any other time of year, but warm for this time of the year. Let's look ahead to what's going to blow through in the middle of the night between today and tomorrow. Right there. It is not much, but it's not zero. And that's going to mean clouds, drizzle, mist, maybe a passing line light shower for 20, 30 minutes, and then it's out of here. This means that the ground could be wet early Saturday morning, but it clears up into the afternoon. This also does include a chance for flurries up high, so check ahead on the roads just in case. I don't think you're going to have any issues, but that's what you're going to drive through early on Saturday morning. Looking ahead to Sunday, it's going to be cold in the morning, nice in the afternoon, mid-50s. Down the road, we've got rain coming in Wednesday and snow and a bigger storm set just ahead of next weekend.